Welcome back to another episode of 40 Facts About the 40K Universe. I am your host, Gersh One, and you are watching One Mind Syndicate. Today we continue talking about the orcs as we get into the different varieties of orc ships. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. We post Warhammer 40K content every single day. And if you have any suggestions, just comment down below. But with that said, let's get into 40 Facts on the orc ships. The Orc race travels the stars in a variety of different void-faring ships, each one unique and brutally put together by various mech boys that make up a dangerous Orc wall. Because having the inherent knowledge on how to build a massive star-faring vessel is not a very common trait amongst the Orcs, they often rely on commandeering other starships. Even when a Big Mac capable of building an impressive spaceship is present in a warband, the orcs will always prefer to steal a ship, knowing that they'll have way more fun enslaving or outright slaughtering the ship's crew. Once they've secured the ship, the mechs begin to alter the Voidcraft to modify its performance to fit the big mech's needs. The first thing they'll do is make the ship dangerously faster by adding turbo boosters and rocket engines and removing any component that would lower the ship's momentum during a charge. This often means safety elements of the original vessel are stripped away or purposefully broken, which is why engine and power core rooms on orc vessels are basically giant death traps for the Gretchen that are forced to maintain the various systems inside the ship. The next order of business for any orc Big Mac worth his chops is to make the ship more killy. This is done by adding as much DACA as possible. All weapons already on the ship are converted to become even deadlier. Thousands of big shooters, rockets, mech guns, and kill cannons are strapped onto the various sides of the ship. Massive heavy guns are sent from the orc's home planet to the orbiting orc vessel, and while most of the time they are randomly placed, they still become very deadly in close range. Next, the orcs loot scrap metal from the Voidcraft by removing any piece of the hull that the mechs believe is not vital for the ship's space traveling capabilities. This is done for two reasons. The first is to have building material for the various orc vehicles that will be constructed while en route to a battlefront. And secondly, because multiple ship docks and hangar bays must be opened up to allow thousands of fighter bombers and small assault craft to fit inside just in case space battles were to break out during transit. A lot of time is also spent augmenting the ship to make it as loud as possible. The roars of the many engines are amplified and distributed throughout the ship's interior. Giant sonic emitters are elaborately constructed to project the deep rumbling of the ship's sounds outward like gigantic battle horns. Ironically, sound doesn't travel through space, but the violent vibrations maintain a constant battle lust for the greenskins traveling inside. The last alteration a ship will receive is the construction of a massive and fortified battering ram, often in the shape of some kind of huge orc head. To put it simply, the orcs turn the ship into a weapon in and of itself, capable of bulldozing through enemy ships in a tremendous display of destruction. Because orcs never bother to stick to a blueprint and often give broad labels to all of their vehicles, the classification of the most common orc ship is a kill cruiser, even though one kill cruiser will never be the same as the next. They are roughly 3 miles long and weigh about 30 megatons. These behemoths are often looted imperial or chaos cruisers. They often make up the core of most orc walls as they are already perfectly designed for space battles and destroying space fortifications. Covered on all sides with heavy guns and occasionally torpedoes, these cruisers are tough enough to take on any Imperial or Xeno battleship. A fearsome variant of the kill cruiser is the Orc Terror Ship. What sets this battle cruiser apart from the kill cruiser is it contains many more launch bays for a variety of Orc attack craft instead of the common heavy guns seen on most kill cruisers. The title of the Terror Ship is given because of the impending doom felt when witnessing thousands of Orc fighters exiting the ship like swarms of locusts eager to consume everything in their wake. While not completely devoid of heavy guns, terror ships only have a forward-facing weapon. This is done because they are built to harass and destroy lightly defended outposts and auger stations, so one gun is more than enough. Often seen under the command of an orc freebooter captain, 
or at the forefront of an invading orc wall. These ships are perfect for looting a target as opposed to destroying it outright. On board these battle cruisers are a variety of assault craft that often take the form of orc assault boats. Assault boats are simply armored shells with a plasma engine at one end and a piercing beak at the other, more akin to a giant boarding torpedo than to a far more sophisticated attack craft employed by other starfaring races. Fighter bombers are the second most common form of small assault craft, and they are equipped not only to intercept enemy ordnance during space battles, but also carry bombs and missiles capable of damaging an enemy warship. All orc kill cruisers are almost always accompanied by dozens of escort ships that are highly mobile and can transport infantry with much more ease. Just like their bigger brothers, these ships are ramshackled together from various looted ships and scraps found after ship battles. The orkiest escort ship is the Brute Ram ship, about half a mile long and a quarter mile wide. This escort ship is fast and easy to control fitted with superior engines and maneuvering thrusters that allow it to line up with a victim vessel and then ram it. At the front of the brute ram ship is an armored beak with a rotary blade and often a drill. When timed perfectly, a brute ship can badly damage even a much larger and powerful capital ship. The goal of the crew of this ship is to charge an enemy vessel and burst it apart with a single impact. The rarest orc escort ship is the Ravenger attack ship which is the orc equivalent to the Imperial torpedo boat. But because the majority of orc-made torpedoes are very volatile and often self-destruct when fired, the use of torpedoes is avoided by most mechs. Instead, most orc fleets rely on the Onslaught-class attack ships when it comes to delivering quick firepower. Their smaller frame, forward-facing thick prow armor, and large batteries of forward guns make it very good for an initial attack. Like all orc attack ships, this escort is capable of atmospheric operation and can land on planets, allowing it to deliver green skin warbands and their vehicles and artillery to attacking orc ground forces. For even heavier firepower, the orcs rely on the savage gunships, which are armed with short range but incredibly powerful heavy guns. While easily destroyed in open head-on battles because of their poor rear and flank armor, these escort ships are best used during ambush assaults a favored tactic amongst the orcs. Hiding behind moons or amongst asteroid fields, these orc escorts are sent in in different formations to be the first to attack during an ambush assault. The unsuspecting enemy is often caught off guard, and by the time they have a chance to react, the assorted escort vessels have inflicted catastrophic damage, at which point a kill cruiser can easily bulldoze his way across the enemy. Surprisingly enough, not all orc ships are built for the purpose of assaulting. Orc mine layer ships are floating rust piles of metal that most commonly fill the skies of a planet with specially built repulsor mines. But in space, these vessels are modified to deposit minefields before an ambush. This amount of foresight is very uncommon for orcs, but freebooter captains, experienced enough in the art of space warfare, will utilize these ships. The mine layer ship possesses either one massive or multiple small cranes, called mine grabbers. These devices are sometimes used as dropships when assaulting a planet. Its bay is filled with angry orc boys instead of orc mines. Typically when it comes to planetary invasions, orcs utilize the landa ships. These orc transport aircraft are used to land infantry, vehicles, and sometimes death dreads from an orbiting spacecraft. While not very agile, an orc landa is extremely durable and can withstand damage from most planetary defense turrets. Most of these vessels are equipped with numerous guns and rockets that are used to defend themselves from enemy flyers attempting to bring them down. The rarest form of orc transport aircraft is the orc crash capsules that are released from orbit and plummet through the atmosphere until repulsor jets slow their descent. They are rarely used because orc repulsor technology often never works and the crews on board usually disintegrate on impact. As said before, the kill cruiser is the most common vessel encountered at the core of any orc fleet or traveling wall, but during the Third War of Armageddon, the Hammer-class battle cruiser was encountered by the Imperium. This massive ship was capable of laying waste to entire Imperial Navy squadrons. 
Their sole purpose was to bring to battle the powerful Lancha, which were the looted remains of a Nova cannon loaded with either torpedoes or bombardment cannon shells. Orcs also often hitch a ride on asteroids, referred to as rocks, by using mining equipment or simple explosives. The asteroids are hollowed out to accommodate every orc capable of cramming into the floating debris. Giant rockets and all manner of weaponry is attached to the surface, making the rock capable of void travel. These rocks make for extremely durable void craft and can be easily created in each new star system the greenskins attack to replace any losses they suffer. And the last form of spaceship used by the orcs that we'll talk about is the Space Hall. A space hawk is a titanic amalgamation of numerous starships, asteroids, and other space-borne debris that get too close to an orc-controlled sector. Once on board, the orcs make these giant floating trash piles mobile colonies, and just like the orc rocks and the other looted starships, they are orcified and used to find a proper fight. And those were 40 facts on the various ships of the orc race i hope you guys enjoyed this video if there's any i miss please comment down below now i briefly went over the space hulk and the orc rocks because we already covered both those topics the links uh were found um in the link um that appears on the video or i'll put a link down in the description below if you guys want me to touch on more on because when we did the space hulk um, 40 Facts video is kind of just a brief overview of what a Space Hulk is. If you guys would like a video on the specific colonization of a Space Hulk by the Orcs specifically, comment down below, let me know, and I'll be sure to create that video. I put, I'll put that in, in the top priority. Um, and then as, as far as the uh, Orc Rocks, uh, I went pretty in-depth um, in the video that I created because um, I think I talked about not only just the regular orc rocks, but uh, I also talked about how God School Mag or Thraka used those rocks in his um, latest war against the Tyranids, uh, where he uh, he landed with uh, the rocks basically became uh, fortresses all all in themselves. Uh, it's pretty badass. So check out that video if you haven't done so. Uh, if you have any other suggestions. Uh, comment down below. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now let's announce the winner of the Plague Marine um, box set thingy. Uh, so this is the sprue that comes in the um, No No Fear box set. All the Plague Marine stuff, or all the Plague, or all the Nurgle stuff, you could win. So the winner is that guy. Now, if you didn't win, don't worry. We still have another giveaway going on. It's an orc giveaway. It's the starter set for the orc box set. The, the winner will be announced this Friday. Um, so don't don't forget to jump on over there, participate, see if you can win that orc starter set. Again, the more you post, um, the more it increases the chances of you winning. But be careful because spamming, and we've already seen it, if you spam, um, YouTube automatically just like gets rid of your, your comment. Um, so, so be careful with that. You can go back maybe once or twice a day, uh, commenting, but don't spam. Um, and yeah, so if you're the winner, just, uh, hit us up. Um, like always, you could, you could hit us up on Facebook, on, uh, here on YouTube through our messages, or you can hit us up on, uh, our email address. Our email address is one mind syndicate, the number one at gmail.com. But yeah, thanks for participating for all those that did. Uh, if you guys want to get more lore videos, um, just subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. This is Gersh1 with One Mind Syndicate signing out. I'm